Hello, hello, my name is Mireya. For this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I did this makeup that you are seeing right now. It is a dramatic makeup look. I'm liking how it's looking with this shirt that I have on right now. I feel like the colors look awesome. They look great. Looking at this makeup, it should have possibly pass as a casual makeup. I mean, I like it for whatever it is, the occasion that you are gonna you be using this makeup for it's gonna look great on you i had filmed this video before and my audio it didn't work i was very bummed out about that because i've had so many struggles today with my camera falling well i actually got it in time my light fell and broke la 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 all of these things that happened i do want to mention really quick that this is in celebration of my 10 year anniversary here on youtube so i'm going to be sharing so many of these makeup videos i'm going to be sharing different makeup looks so if you like these kinds of videos please subscribe i'm going to be bothering you guys for the whole month so subscribe if you would like or unsubscribe if you do not like these videos what else could i say you're here to see this makeup look so let's just go ahead and get started that feels better i haven't filmed sit down videos like this in a long time i didn't remember what it felt like to be sitting on this hard chair and being in pain what should I do? What kind of makeup should I do? Let's see, let's see. I found this makeup look on Pinterest, so I'm going to try and make up eyeshadow look. Wish me luck. So this, I'm going to start out, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the old days when I used to do my makeup, and I'm going to be taking this jumbo eye pencil. This one is from NYX. Like I said, I'm going to go back to the old days because this is what I used to do to get like the bright colors and I'm gonna be using this makeup palette spectrum you can buy the, this is a drugstore eyeshadow makeup palette I bought mine at Walmart so I'm trying to open this jumbo eye pencil so hard why did they make it so hard I'm gonna zoom you guys in again I just felt I feel like doing something like this today I'm gonna take my jumbo eye pencil and just Put it everywhere. Put this eyeshadow. Put this all over my eye. I'm also going to put it down here since I'm going to be applying eyeshadow down here as well. I'm going to be taking that brush that I used for the concealer. I don't have too many brushes, so I'm going to be using this one once again. I mean, it's okay if it fades a little bit because I can always go back with that jumbo eye pencil again. I'm gonna open my eye real big. I mean, I think this will do the job. I don't think I have to like put more. Or should I? Let's just go back in with a little bit more. More on the eye, on the eyelid. Just a little bit. I bought some new brushes, but I think I need to buy like thin ones like this one. Should I start? Yeah, I'm gonna start with pink. I'm gonna start with this pink. That's gonna be the color that I'm gonna be using to blend everything. And I had to get this big old thick brush for that. It's crazy. This is a bit too big. I need a smaller brush for that. Like a blending brush. I think it's so important to blend that color because that's going to be like our background eyeshadow color. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more. Whoopsie, I forgot to press record. I was telling you guys that you can either, like, I'm going back to the old days. I can either use the makeup wipe to clean it up, to clean up the makeup, or 
you can apply a piece of tape, which is what I did. And I feel like I'm more comfortable blending this way and I, I'm not like making a mess on the outer, on the outer part of my eyeball there. I like it this way. Now I'm going to be taking the next eyeshadow color and I'm going to be taking it with this, I'm going to be taking it with this brush once again. I'm just going to clean it up. I'm gonna go back with that pink and just blend those two colors a bit. And go up as well. Gonna be going on with that orange eyeshadow color now. Gonna be going back with that purple because I feel like it lost a bit of intensity and blend those two eyeshadow colors with my blending brush i'm gonna go in and blend everything on the top i just don't want it to look too harsh on the top once it's blended it just looks way better for my inner corner i'm gonna be taking a very small brush I'm going to be going in with that Mary Gold. That's the name of that eyeshadow. I'm going to bring that down as well. Even though on that picture it doesn't look like it is, I just feel like I have to blend in the eyeshadow that's on the top with the bottom. I'm going to be cleaning the bottom um, a bit later, so that's okay if I get a mess there. Blend those two eyeshadows a bit. I'm going to be getting all of my eye brushes dirty. On that makeup from Pinterest, she has blue all on the bottom, but I think I want to add a little bit of green. No, I'm going to add a little bit of Peacock and then Nautical. Let's do that. No, it's not going to be exactly the same. I do, that's just an inspiration that I took. I'm going to be taking that Nautical. It looks purple. Whoops, off frame there. I know I need to clean my eyebrows a bit, just a bit. But that I'll do that once I do my eyeshadow. Once I do my foundation. Oh my goodness. No, I didn't I didn't forget that color. Black eyeliner. I don't know if I want to use black eyeliner though. Hmm. We'll see. I think I want to use white eyeliner. So I'm done with that eye. I went ahead and finished my other eyeball. My other eye. I went ahead and finished my other eyeshadow and I'm going to be taking a makeup wipe. Well, these are not really makeup wipes. These are my baby, baby wipe pieces. <laughs> Laura, what is your wipe piece, please? So I borrowed one of these wipe pieces and I'm just going to be cleaning out all that fallout out there. I'm going to be taking the tape and this is going to be painful. Ah! Oh my goodness, this tape is so good. <laughs> you guys didn't see this because it was off camera, right? But before applying the tape, I applied it onto my skin, on my hand. That way it wouldn't be that difficult to remove. This is some good tape. Clean off everything. I'm going to zoom you guys out now. Hello once again. I don't know if I should apply black eyeshadow, white eyeshadow. What about eyeliner? I don't want to put too much eyeliner. I just feel like it would look good like without. 
just gonna be putting just a little bit. Just a very thin line. I don't even want to do a wing today. I just did a little bit of eyeliner. Just a very thin line. I used this tattooed liner from Kat Von D. This one's one of my favorites. I haven't found one, like a drugstore one that I like, that I really like. So that's the one I use. This was a mini that I got on my birthday. I'm gonna be curling my eyelashes before I put my eyelashes on, my fake lashes. I'm gonna be using these babies right here. I'm gonna get them cut up and put some glue. And then I'm gonna move on with the curling of my eyelashes. I hope these don't poke my eyeballs. When I started using eyelashes, first of all, this was crazy. I didn't buy eyelash glue. I would just put them on the way they were like this with that glue that it comes with. Crazy. I didn't cut the ends. I didn't know how to apply eyelashes, but I didn't care. I never even watched a video on how to do it. I just felt like I knew how that I didn't even have to watch a video on how to do it. That was just crazy, guys. I never thought that there was so much to it, to applying fake eyelashes. And then that my eyelashes would like poke me all night and I'd be like, why are these eyelashes hurting? Like, does everybody go through this? I got the glue on my eyelashes. Now I'm gonna be curling my natural eyelashes. Pretty awkward moment here. These are some cheap eBay eyelashes. I really do feel like these eyelashes are weighing my eyes down and I do not want to use a black eyeshadow or a black liner because I feel like my eyes are going to look even smaller. So I'm going to be taking this white eyeliner here, open wide, the, the girl in the picture, she, it looked like she had blue eyeliner and I do not have blue eyeliner. I only have black and white. I'm going to be going with the black eyeliner. This takes practice. And don't be scared to do it. You're not gonna poke your eye, and if you do, don't worry. <laughs> Ooh, getting a bit teary there. Time to move on to, with the rest of my face. I'm gonna be taking this primer. I feel like I can never get the foundation on right because my face is so dry right now in the winter time. I'm gonna be using that Mario Badesco spray. It has aloe, cucumber, and green tea, so hopefully that helps with my dry face. I'm going to be using also some mascara just to blend in my eyelashes with the fake eyelashes that I have on. Hey guys, so here I am doing a voiceover because my audio went off on me again. Yes, that happened. So I'm just going to quickly let you guys know what I use, but I also will put everything in the description box below. Since I'm just going to be doing like a speed through, I used a foundation. It's a sample that I got from Lancome, and I think it's pretty good. Testing it out since it's a pricey foundation, they give you samples when you go into the store. I'm going to be using a bronzer from Sunny NYC. It's called Sunny. I'm going to be using my MAC blush, and I'm going to be putting some a lot not some but a lot of that bronzer on my double chin yes i have a double chin i'm gonna be using some what is this like the setting powder this one is from kat von d i got this as a sample at sephora for my birthday that also came with the eyeliner and i'm going to be using this beauty blender this purple one that i just got i sprayed it with some of that mario badesco spray i'm going to be using bisu this is the powder and i'm just gonna just add, this is what I've, I've been doing for quite some years now. Once I apply the whole makeup, then I just use a, a brush, a clean brush, and then I just like just set up my whole face and grab a little bit of that powder. And for my lips, I will be using this lipstick. Again, everything in the description box below. Don't forget to set your makeup. I'm using this Max Studio Finish Fix. It's a spray that's going to help set your makeup, and it also helps big time your makeup looks great once you apply that setting spray so you should give it a try if you have never applied spray 
I highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. The thumbs up is going to help me a lot. It's going to help me know that you guys are enjoying these videos and I can share more of these videos with you guys. Also, it's going to help my channel. It's going to help YouTube to promote uh, my videos. And it really and it really does help a lot, guys. So, so please support me by uh, clicking that like button. Also, it lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos and I can share more, more of these videos with you guys. I really wish that when I started my YouTube channel 10 years ago that I would have continued on with makeup looks just because it's something that I really enjoy doing. I also am passionate about doing my nails. So I'm going to be sharing more of those videos with you guys as well. My, I feel like my energy is a little drained because I filmed this video, like I said, before and I've had so many struggles today. Please stay tuned because on this anniversary I'm going to be sharing one video every day for a month. I hope you guys like those videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you, you that you're watching this video, I'll see you in the next video so don't forget to comment. Bye bye!